Good morning, everybody. I have currently, I have um, in my possession, or actually not in my possession, I have two jobs in my possession, three jobs that are out at the powder coater right now, and one more job coming in today or tomorrow, and perhaps in two weeks, another job coming in. All top end refresh jobs for your 928s, S3s, S4s, no GTSs, I think, um, are in that mix. But something I wanted to really nail down, put the stake in it, remove any kind of questionable stuff that might arise in the future. Anything that comes in that I have more than two jobs and they're identical parts, I always look at the numbers, the part numbers on them, and even though the part numbers usually are the same on these crappy, junky looking cam covers right now, um, most of the part numbers are the same. But, and then if they are the same, if I have more than two or three jobs here, I'll look at the uh, date code. And if the date codes are the same, then I'm going to go ahead and mark, physically imprint a mark in the cam cover or the oil filler some kind of mark that will never be seen by you or any any motorist on the inside not just a magic marker but an actual slight engraving on the inside to mark it to identify it as yours um, if this was mine it's not, but I've got two and two of them inside the office that are mine. I will. I would want to make sure that I get this part, the exact part, back. Um, no swaps, although some swaps are good and they work. But I'm a numbers guy, and I like numbers and I like consistencies. So if I get your manifold and I have three or four of them here you'll get your manifold back, I promise you. You will get yours back. Because the numbers on it, even though they're, the numbers are very uh, the same, GTSs I think are a little bit different. But if I have a pile of them here, I'm gonna mark it. I'm gonna make a physical annotation, maybe, you know, under here in the bottom where it'll never be seen you know, a physical mark that won't come off with the blasting process. Um, I've got a little small engraving tool, just make a little mark like a one or a two, because I told you I've got five jobs right now. Three at the powder coater, okay, and uh, two here, and another one coming today from Roger. So, just want you all to know that kind of potentiality for issues is not an issue. Um, even if I have two or three of these S3 intakes, I will go ahead and make sure that you get your same intake back. I wonder what these are for. Hmm. Oh, I know what these are for. Ah, these are for my 944, one of the brake calipers. Interesting how I put stuff in here to blast. So um, that's just a little school knowledge, sharing of truths with y'all, because um, I want to make sure you get your, your part back. And on the inside here, you can see the date codes, 87. And in the same job, we have an 86, okay? So, these will go back to the same customer. Roger sent them to me for a customer that wants a gold vein. I've got the code, I've got the number. Prismatic makes it, and uh, we're going to get that for the customer for this job. And I think that'll be a really kind of a cool color that'll show up. And, uh, of course, I'll share it, share the color, share the... Um, you know what it looks like of course you can see what it looks like right now and uh, you know the s4 stuff really comes off easily 
blows off really nicely, you know, right there in the uh, blasting cabinet. So, all this stuff in here. Of course, before I blast, I take, every, I take everything out and then put three or four items in here at one time, blast them, and take those items out and put more items in. So I don't have a pile of stuff that could move around, float around, and, uh, you know, perhaps become injured, damaged, etc. I don't want that. So... And I know you don't either. So anyways, that's just a brief little snapshot, picture, image of how to, how I keep things straight. And, you know, like on here, you know, I annotate, this one had a broken cam cover, but all the numbers are on it. Um, so it is what it is, folks. So, uh... Anyways, have a good day, and uh, all the best to you, and uh, enjoy, hopefully your weather, wherever you're at, is, is nice, and uh, enjoyable, happy, and all that good stuff, so I gotta go. See ya, bye-bye.